Here in Chicago, we celebrated seven baptisms. Brenda, Danny, Nick, Joshua, Andrew, Jawali, and Kurt all publicly declared Jesus as their Lord and Savior. What an amazing work of God who seeks to save the lost. Here's a clip from their life testimonies. I was asking myself, who's Jesus and who's the father of Jesus? And now I know that Jesus, God, and the Holy Spirit is one. And with the Holy Spirit, I am washed away from my sin of lust, doubt, and laziness. Jesus has forgiven me for all of my sins, and I am, and I am set free from sin, for He is my Savior. The last three years of one-to-one -one Bible study has grown me to be a powerful witness to customers at my dad's restaurant, in the gym, and wherever I go. At first, I was not very inclined to the idea, but as I saw more and more of God's grace and vision in my life, I was encouraged to go wherever the Lord takes me. I want to grow in my relationship with God so that I can have a great love for Him to overpower my selfish sins. Thank God for His love for me. He has given me the power over my sin so that I can be with Him. I am grateful for Jesus who died and rose again to save my life. My life has turned into a 180 after truly following Christ. At my lowest point in life, God was there with me when I thought I had no one, and for that I thank Him. Now, let's move on to global news. It's been four years since Japan UBF had an in-person conference, but the opportunity came this August. There were great messages, workshops, open discussions, a special lecture on Genesis, the world before the fall, by Pastor Usami of the Japan Creation Science Society. Naomi testified that the love of Christ changed her into a woman full of joy. They also held communion, thanking Jesus for his death and resurrection. Here's a special and exciting story from the conference. The day before the Japan retreat, a typhoon was approaching Japan. According to the weather forecast, the typhoon would have landed on the retreat site on the last day of the retreat. So there was a lot of debate and prayer whether to continue. As they had prayed though, the typhoon landed in Japan a day later than expected, and the area where it landed was also outside the conference venue. God answered all their prayers and blessed their retreat abundantly. Korea UBF held their Junior Bible Fellowship Summer Retreat on August 4 through 6, 2023. The theme was Rise and Walk to Jesus, based on Acts 3, verse 6. A total of 249 people attended from 14 Korean chapters and 5 overseas chapters. David from Jongno gave the first message, What is your name? This was followed by another message by Paul from Gwangju 1, Father, forgive them. Luke from Baebong gave the last message on Acts 3, 1 through 26, Rise and Walk. Let's pray for Korea's youth to be nurtured by the Word of God and become a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. The Mexico City co-workers prepared a conference for young students with great enthusiasm. There was a total of 127 people who attended. Many students came to receive one-to-one -one Bible study and saw that the true hope is in the gospel. The four messengers served with the grace of God, and the testimonies were wonderful, glorifying the name of Jesus. They ended the conference with a party, thanking God for giving Jesus as their Lord and Savior through beautiful pieces of music, dance, and theater. Pray for God to raise many more young Mexican students to be used for His salvation work. On August 20th, Venezuela UBF celebrated a special worship service for its 35th anniversary in Caracas. 105 people came and shared a word of God based on Luke 9. Praise the Lord who has blessed Venezuela UBF during the last 35 years. We have some exciting engagement news. By God's grace, Daniel Kim of Q Nation and Anna Marie Ahn of Portland UBF USA were engaged by faith on August 6. They shared sincere life testimonies, testifying to their decision to engage and marry purely by faith and live as a blessing to many. Pastor Mark Vizekovic gave them one word from Matthew 9, 36. So when he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion on them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. Pray for them as God uses and grows them to be a compassionate and gospel-centered house church to minister to sick and wandering souls beginning from America, the Middle East, and the whole world. On September 9th, God abundantly blessed the wedding ceremony between Vlad and Dasha of Podil UBF, Ukraine. Vlad had decided to be the new director of Podil UBF this past year, and God blessed him with a suitable helper, Dasha, who wants to serve God together. May God raise up many godly families in Ukraine to restore the country and be used by God to preach the gospel to all nations. 
Now let's move on to some post-ISBC news. God bless the International Summer Bible Conference held from August 3 to 6, 2023, and He revealed His glory to us. The messages resonated powerfully, offering deep insights into the glory of Christ. And we saw the glory of Jesus through group Bible studies, praise and worship, drama, special songs, orchestra performances, dances, the World Mission Festival, and interest group discussions. Thank God for an amazing conference where we could worship God representing all nations. For more news and information, visit www.ubf.org.